So the big question is how to let go of someone you really love or even in fact we could even turn the question around a little bit should we even let go of someone or something that we really feel that love for now um in this episode we have obviously a very special guest i'm sure you guys see um our grandmaster aksha here thank you for your time um and his energy to share with you his wisdom uh so you know this is this is a very interesting question because this could be you could be in a relationship right now where things are you're getting some rough patches things are not going quite well and you feel like i should drop this relationship but how do i let go of it you know it keeps bringing me back into it you know uh we had a participant at our retreat recently who who who, who came along said exactly the same thing you know I, I don't know why i keep breaking up and i keep going get, keep going back and it keeps creating more and more chaos every time we get back you know or it may be something that actually happened to you. Maybe someone you love dearly um, just left, disappeared, or, or something like that, you know. Like, how do you let go? Because I know going through those hard times, you know, there's a lot of emotions going on. So I think we'll um, ask for some wisdom from Grandmaster to share. Like, how does one let go? If you love you don't let go. The thing which you are saying let go is the experience. Sometimes people they come in life to teach you something very special which we may not understand at that time. After five years we see the same life and we laugh on that. Oh, I was there. What I was doing. <laughs> so, but for the people, those who are going through with this phase, it's very painful. At that time, we need to build a strategy, we need to build a life for myself before I enter in this language of love. So in our, in our learnings we say that don't love so fast, give time. Because love, love is very special. Because it's easily available everywhere. People they think that it's for me, let me start, let me, let me involve myself. But we say wait, don't, don't start this learn and create that life so that when you when you get into these kind of phases you have somebody to protect you otherwise it destroys the person but here the situation is that what to do when you are already in and uh, the 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 word Pain. let go yeah. yes so in this situation you need to you need to really confirm you need to you need to assure that really that's love then we can work on this system that what to do because if it's just an experience you will be out from that immediately i think what i mean from what i'm getting from this right is um i think starting from the beginning of what you said um it's not it's not it's not about letting go um, to love, you say, is, is, is not let, letting go. And to love is more about maybe setting free. Yeah. Maybe setting the person you love free or yeah. setting yourself even free at the same time. Beautiful, yes. And I think what you are also saying here the, about um, when people are going through such pain because they feel they can't let go, they probably, most likely, is they've got an attachment to this thing. Yes. So, mistaken that for love, because that is more, maybe it could even be possibly from an ego perspective, yeah. which is uh, attachment or ownership of a certain thing. True. Is that true? Yes. So, but how do they get themselves? So now they are in that situation, even if they are digesting this information, they're like, okay, now they're questioning. Is this really love? Is it just because I have a part of me which wants to own, have ownership of this thing? Is it this attachment to it? Because if we are going through such pain, then surely I should pick up the courage to be able to say, if I love you so much, I should set you free. But how does one even, in that chaos right now, in that mindset right now, is there any practice, is there anything they can do It's tough actually. It's very, very tough and uh, 
there is no uh, fixed degree that you know this is the degree each one of us we are very special in the way how we love is very special but still you need to understand your value i should not lose myself in this process so at that time as as a as a master i need to tell you that i can't leave my my student my disciple in that suffering mm. i need to protect mm. so that protection is there is something more mm. there is something more that's why this happened mm. allow it to allow it to go mm. if you keep holding then you are not allowing something new to happen mm. wait for some time and that wait for sure it will be it will be painful mm. you need to engage yourself mm. that emptiness of your mind and that emptiness of your life you need to fill with something very special mm. one of our practitioner it's very very amazing experience which he shares with us when he went into in this situation mm. and it was not easy for the person he was ready to do suicide he was ready to leave his body so he came and he asked that i what i should do because death is also very very strange they won't but you know it's painful so before doing that act he thought let me let me say something so he's he's not asking for any solution that person was just sharing that this is what i feel and when we were sitting and uh, we all with our masters we were sitting for us it was very tough to understand the situation of the person because we are not in love mm-hmm. and we don't understand let go mm-hmm. the master they said that i want you to spend your these many months mm-hmm. with certain activities mm-hmm. after that whatever you are thinking mm-hmm. i will make you to do that mm. you want to leave your body i will allow you mm. this person spent 7 months somewhere 200 days mm. in a very special practice mm. and you will not believe rick when now when we meet this person mm. he is so joyful <laughs> so happy mm. prosperity name fame everything is blessed on him mm. and he he himself he gives the story of his past uh-huh. i was about to do that uh-huh. you no know, i was going in that kind of situation mm-hmm. but i learned mm-hmm. and he expresses his thanks to that girl mm. and he says that one is my master mm. and one is that girl who's my real master mm. who taught me the power of love mm. who gave me the direction who gave me the idea understanding of this love mm. i was going through with that time mm. that was painful mm. but who am i today is because of that mm. it happens mm. you need to let go but with that guidance with that instruction with that safety mm-hmm. so anybody who 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 feels that you know their 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 life is in in this kind of situation mm-hmm. they must go back to their master they mm-hmm. must go back to their guides mm-hmm. they will protect them mm-hmm. alone me taking decision will be painful mm-hmm. i will again as you said that i'll go back because the fear of attachment is mm-hmm. there I'll put myself in trouble or I'll put that life in the trouble. Mm. And I think it sometimes helps with somebody looking from a different angle and different perspective to give guidance on that. Too. Yes, because when yeah. you're in that chaos, sometimes it's very hard to process True. what what yeah. It's individual, each individual is special, mm. guidance will be special. And this situation is not something which can be taken as, you know, or oh, it's something happened mm. it's very very important mm. because it's about life mm. the person who is in love mm. for him or for her uh, their heart is gone they don't know mm. it's that's why see a rick it's madness to jump from a, on a building to mm. jump in front of a train it's it's not something human mm. we need to save this situation mm. and uh, all those who are you know are dear spirits make sure that you understand your existence your life you very special very special need that time to to build again and you know sometime we need to remove that old structure to build something new mm, 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 mm. so give time mm. and uh, have faith mm. have faith in yourself mm. and i think that um just to wrap this up even just again starting from the beginning of this conversation i think just the idea of um questioning you know asking yourself the question you know is this really love if there is a lot of pain that's uh being caused right now and if you really sincerely love from the bottom of your heart is that what you want for the other person is that also what you want for yourself i think that's very important because once you understand that you have awareness around that 
I think a lot of answers will come to you there. Um, so first off, thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you got any wisdom from it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your thoughts, your views. And also, if you have any questions around this topic, feel free to type it below and then we will take a look at it. And finally, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it because this year I'm dedicated to making videos, <laughs> a whole bunch of videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, namaste.